tonight. Deadly day on the highway. Green energy fight. And from alley to art gallery. is News Watch at 6 with Bill Hutchins and Shauna Cunningham. I'm Darren Davis. When Zach Elliott was 18, he was left a paraplegic after a car accident. Now, two years later, he's opening up his own ultralight flight school. I have that story coming up in a little while. One man has turned this downtown Kingston alleyway into an art gallery, and it's the first of its kind in all of Ontario. I'm Heather Tenorin. Coming up later in the show, I'll tell you all about Marcello Alley. A local artist, tired of painting on canvas, decided to use an empty alleyway in downtown Kingston for his latest work of art. He's transformed the once dreary space into an art gallery with dozens of paintings and drawings for sale. This watch as Heather Tenorin has those details. At first glance, it looks just like another shop in downtown Kingston. But step inside and you'll see it's actually an alleyway that local artist David Gossett has transformed into an art alley. Welcome to Martello Alley. It's vibrant and exciting and very informal. A lot of people don't normally go to galleries, but they just kind of wander into this place. They're caught off guard and they wonder what it's about. It's not just the walls that are covered with art. Gossett used the entire alley as his canvas, modeling it after a famous tourist art alley in Quebec. He painted the floors to mimic cobblestone and utilized the back corner as a courtyard. Curious passers-by are impressed by this hidden gem. We were just walking up the street that caught our eye and in we came. It's fantastic. It's a really neat, neat setup. It's great. It's not just one thing. It's, it's a variety. And I think that uh, when you have abstract and you have uh, portraits and you have nature scenes. All of the art on display is for sale and painted by Kingston artists like Tully who paints structures and scenes around Limestone City. Uh, Dave saw me working on a, a painting of, uh, of a restaurant and uh, approached me. I like them and I like the space and the people involved are very unpretentious. It's not just a place to buy art, but also a place to create it. Dossett can often be found working on his latest piece in the courtyard. Dossett is proud to own what he says is the first real art alley in Ontario. So many people come in and, and tell me this is exactly what Kingston needs. I'm just surprised it wasn't done before. Martello Alley is open seven days a week, rain or shine. Even when they do close, most of the art displays fold into themselves. So it looks like a mini French village, even after hours. And we'll be seeing this art alley year-round. Dossett plans to stay open throughout the winter months. Heather Centerin, CKWS Newswatch, Kingston. What an interesting idea. Mm -hmm. I had not stumbled across that <laughs> art gallery yet. <laughs> All right, well, hopefully it catches on to other uh, dingy alleyways. Exactly. A lot of them. Yeah. Uh, Mike joins us now.